Hey everybody, welcome to Disrupt It Yourself. I wanted to do a quick video review type thing of the PyGirl Zero project that I just finished. For those of you who follow me, especially on Instagram, you've seen that in the last couple of weeks I've devoted quite a bit of time to this project. I did a few things that ended up being pretty interesting, I think, and worth talking about. And in general, you may just be interested in this project and like to get kind of a look at it a little bit closer and kind of see what it's like to do one in case you're considering dropping the money on those parts and taking it on. It may even be a good first project for a lot of people who have been doing 3D printing for a while but would like to do a more in-depth electronics project with 3D printing. I think this is a really good candidate for that. It's challenging but not terribly difficult especially since this is the last so far in a set of projects from Noe and Pedro from Adafruit. First there was the Pie Girl, then there was the Pie Girl Pocket, which is the first one I did, then the Pie Girl 2, which I also did, and this is the Pie Girl Zero, which is built, of course, around the um, Raspberry Pi Zero. It's a really fun project, and because they've done a few similar projects already, they've learned a lot and they apply some of those new ideas here that make it easier to assemble and you're more likely to have success and less issues. Um, a few things real quick. I went ahead and, and used a technique that I kind of played around with and, and discovered for myself. Maybe some other people have done similar things to create this pattern here. You'll see a little bit more in the rest of this video. You may just watch this video to learn how you can achieve this kind of pattern. And I also added this little frame to the screen because I thought it was fun and added a little bit more accent to it. And I added a headphone jack by using a USB audio card that I stripped down, took the housing off, cut the um, USB cable off and just soldered the wires to the USB OTG. I actually didn't use the design to add the USB jack. I prefer to just have the audio jack and nothing else because I like having that inside. I have some extra space in there. So it's nice to just go ahead and add audio, which is the thing I want the most anyway. Um, if I need to use a keyboard or USB for any other reason, this is a really easy project to open up. It's not screwed together. So if I need to, I can pop it open and just plug in um, an adapter and connect a keyboard, which it doesn't happen that often. So if I ever really needed to, to me, it's just not really a big deal. So let's get into a little bit more of the details and you can see the process of me putting this together. So there you have it. This is my review and video about the Pi Girl Zero. If you're interested, I'll include the link down here below so that you can go buy the parts and take on this project for yourself. If you do, please send it my way. Tag me on Instagram, on Twitter, or email it to me, whatever. I'd really like to see your build. Thanks for tuning in, guys. Leave me a comment if you have any feedback about this video, and keep on making awesome stuff.